hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today is my third episode of MIUI theming and I'm sorry for a delay but I had some wrenches thrown into my plans as well as it is a long process to do these. And sadly right now uh, Xiaomi decided to cause me problems with their latest updates where it doesn't apply the XML and the system UI in other places which I think is a bug. I looked through it and tried to look through there and see if maybe they just changed the naming and stuff. But at last, it just doesn't work currently on the newest version of MIUI Weekly. But it should work on the new MIUI 13 Control Center like it was working for me. And then also the version 12.5 and lower. Anyway, let's begin. So this is what it looks like as of now with the assets in place as well as the XML. Like I said, the system UI is not applied correctly because of that bug, but some of the stuff in the settings, stuff like that, are applied like the text and all that good stuff. You also see that I changed the system UI to use pictures now because of the problem with the applying of the XML files. But when I get back to normal, I will switch it back to just being XML based. So the way I do this is I use two different programs. I use VS Codium. This is where I keep the themes values that I'm uh, making for the app that I'm theming. And then I'll also use Android Studio now because it actually shows the colors and stuff, which I find a lot more helpful. So what you wanna do is you wanna find your decompile and you wanna add the whole folder to Android Studio. And then go into values, XML, and then colors. Well, for, for the colors, I mean, uh, there's also dimensions, which I'm going to go over. And uh, stuff like strings, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff here to mess with. But on here, if you go and you select colors, and you open that file, and then you click config, because it'll tell you that it found some Android, go ahead and click config, and... Uh, select the Android version that it gives you and then it will show you all these different colors and stuff in the XML file which is a really really helpful because before this I just kind of copied the color code and then looked it up in Google and then took all the ones with familiar colors like blue there's a lot of them that use 00DFF and stuff like that but this kind of expedited the process you can also edit the ones in Android Studio and then copy the ones you edited into an XML like this as well which is also pretty easy I did that for part of it but yeah this is basically the whole gist of it you just go through select the ones you want to change the color of I typically change the color of blue green red and yellow and then any other colors like that I typically use different for red and yellow and I use similar colors for blue and green and then sometimes purple I can uh, this kind of depends on what shades are I typically make them similar shades and that's what I do in this one. Now I also look and find like, like I also go and look for like stuff like title and text and change those around. But you have to be careful because sometimes you end up not being able to see those because you theme them the same color as what you're theming the blues and stuff. So be wary of that. Uh, I'm going to have a video showing how to fix stuff like that. How to go back and fix anything you might have messed up on. But yeah, this is basically the process I use. And you can find all these colors and stuff for the theming and all that kind of stuff and the decompile of that specific apk file now another thing to note is on system ui i usually like to color the icons in the text and not the background i usually make the backgrounds transparent or mostly transparent and when, when it's on all you see is that color you see the color that I themed it that indicate that it's on. So this one's a little confusing when you do the colors. So you want to kind of miss those, which are like, if I remember correctly, it's ICCC and the system UI APK to compile for the old school one. And then it's QS 
like it's IC underscore QS for uh, the control center, the new control center. So keep that in mind. But yeah, that's pretty much all that is there is to it. It just takes a long time to get everything done in here. And that's pretty much all there is to doing the color. So I'm going to skip through a lot of this because it does take a really, really long time to get all this done, especially in my themes because I cover a lot of different apps in a lot of different sections so just kind of go through it pick the stuff that you want to change the color of and that's basically all there is to it another use you can do with the xml files is what is called theme fallback and essentially this is kind of like uh used so you can save space you don't have to duplicate the images and so you don't have to add extra mbs or anything to your theme so what you do on here is you type out something like drawable name equals the image that you're trying to re uh, trying to use a different image for like say you have multiple of the MBUI version logos and everything and you want to just kind of use one for all of them so simply uh see i have all these ringtone ones trying to replace that ringtone because i cannot find the file naming for it so we'll go ahead and put me icon and we're just going to use the ring png and then right here in the green we're going to replace that with the name of the ones we want to replace we're going to go ahead and put in the ones that we want to use that me icon ring PNG that we have in the theme. And we want to put dot PNG. I forgot to do this at first, but I went back and fixed this. But then if we do this, we can delete all the other ones and not have to worry about them because they'll automatically use the one we do have in the theme. So yeah, it saves you some space and it's a little hack to make your theme smaller and more efficient. Now XMLs are more than just colors. There's strings, there is dimensions, there's all these other things you can play with. I'm gonna go over strings right now and sadly I could not find one in the regular values so I went to a different one for a different country. So it's in, uh, I'm not sure, I think this is uh, Spanish but anyway uh, it worked the same because the, the ones that we're replacing are the same and I can kind of figure out which ones are which by what the name is but what we're gonna theme on mine is we're gonna change the device string names for settings so instead of saying settings it's gonna say mint UI and instead of saying my device it's gonna say mint UI and then in version it's gonna say mint UI by ice mint asa which is me and that's kind of what we're going to do. It's a, little, it's a little fun thing to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And so the way we do this is a little different than color. We're going to type in string name instead. And then we're going to put the part we want to replace the text of. So in this case, it's going to be my device. And then we're going to put in the blue after that what we want it to say, which in this case is mint UI. And I'll go in later and kind of fix this a little bit because I didn't do it 100% correctly because I think it needs a space after that main UI. But this is basically a gist of replacing strings and adding your own text to your themes in places that you would like. So just kind of play around with this and find what you want to replace. And then this is kind of how you do it. This also works on dimensions. So there's a one called uh, Dimin, which is dimensions. And you can set custom dimensions to different aspects of your theme. So say you want a bigger clock in the system UI or you want smaller stuff in sy uh, system settings, you can go ahead and do that by using dimensions. And it works the same. It's like the dim uh, dimension name equals in green, it's the thing you want to change the dimensions of. And then in blue, it will be dimensions and everything like that. And you can find that in the dimensions XML, the APK that you decompiled. But I'm not really going to mess with that, so just keep that in mind. Um, I do kind of mess with it on settings. I change some to zero to deal with this string right here and kind of correlation to that. But that's about it. You can do all these different kinds of stuff. And this is probably the most powerful part of MIUI theming. So now you kind of know how to use it, hopefully. And I'll kind of show you what the theme looks like now and what it should look like when there isn't a bug in my MIUI version. So it's time to apply the theme. I already imported it and it's meant MIUI, which I'm probably going to change. This is what it looks like now with all the assets and the XML files done. See, it's changed some things like the text is now green and stuff in settings, but on system UI, it just didn't change it. And this is what it should look like. This is on the older version of the control center, but this is what it was like on my last theme with all this stuff changed so you can see all these different color things and everything like that.
And this is how I feel when Xiaomi fixes the MIUI 13 bug that they currently have. Uh, this ch name change will not show up in this video in my themes that I imported because I did not change the name on here when I took the video for the import originally. But I did want to show that I did change one more thing in there, and that is to help with compatibility in the theme app. So usually it says this theme is not fully compatible and everything like that. So the way to fix that is we're going to go into description and we're going to change the version uh, to MIUI adapter version and the C data 2.0, which is right in between our uh, author and UI version. So that one that's in there, I think it, I can't remember exactly what it is. I think it just says version. We're going to put this line right here in there and that should fix it for you. So that's another helpful tip. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching my video and I hope that you find it helpful. So see you next tutorial where I go over wallpaper, food animation, previews, and maybe lock screen. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll see you when it comes out. Thank you.